Hi, my name is Lisa and I'm the Viet Vegan and I'm a brand ambassador for Produce Made Simple. We're here to encourage you to eat more fruits and veggies and what better way to do that than to stuff them in dumplings. To start off this recipe, you'll be finely dicing your vegetables. The easiest way is to first finely slice your vegetables, then lay them flat and cut into matchsticks, then turn again to cut into a fine dice. The more uniform your vegetables are, the better it is for the final dumpling texture. For carrots, you can use a julienne peeler and then slice those into a fine dice. You could also use a food processor for the cabbage, carrot, and mushroom, and then cut the ginger, onion, and garlic by hand. In a large mixing bowl, combine vegan ground meat, all of your diced vegetables, aromatics, toasted sesame oil, soy sauce, salt and pepper, and combine well. As you're folding the dumplings, be sure to cover both your dumpling wrappers and your folded dumplings with a damp towel, just to make sure that they don't dry out. To fold the dumplings, apply water to the edge of one half of the wrapper. Add about a teaspoon of the mixture to the dumpling and pleat in a half moon shape with about five pleats per dumpling. Try to squeeze out as much air as you can out of the dumplings because as they cook, if there's any extra air in the dumplings, they might puff up and burst while cooking. As this makes a lot of dumplings, you can flash freeze on a sheet and transfer to an airtight container to freeze for about two to three months. To cook the dumplings, heat a large nonstick pan over a medium heat. Add one tablespoon of vegetable oil to the bottom and rotate the pan to coat the bottom. Arrange the dumplings around the pan, pleats up. Let cook until you start seeing the bottoms are nicely browned, about three to four minutes. Add one quarter cup of water around the edge of the pan and cover to continue cooking until most of the water is evaporated. To make the dumpling sauce, combine all the ingredients in a bowl and mix well. You can omit the sriracha if you prefer no spice. Remove the lid and let any excess moisture cook off from the bottom of the pan. Drizzle one teaspoon of toasted sesame oil around the edge of the pan and turn the pan to distribute some of the oil. Let cook until the bottoms are nice and crispy. Remove and transfer to a plate. And here they are. I'm actually so excited that we're done because I really want to eat them. It obviously looks like a lot of work because there's a lot of chopping and stuff, but you know, once you get into the groove of it, it's just really easy to just make a bunch. You can flash freeze a whole pan and then put it in the freezer. Once they're all frozen, transfer to like an airtight container and then you have dumplings whenever you want and they are delicious. So the delicious dipping sauce. <laughs> Gotta go all in one. One, two, three. Mm. Mm-hmm. For the full recipe, go to producemadesimple.ca or click on the link in the description. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more Produce Made Simple.